All right. 2.5 FAQ video will probably be starting here. 2.5 major thing about the 2.5 update is we get a new zone, right? new 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 thing on the map. Uh, you guys probably already seen all the exploration points that you can't get from the interactive map. That's because they're inside this cave. There's two entrances. There's one over here and one over here to to the cave, right? Closest one to a teleport is probably this, and then you just go through this hole. Okay, there is a rock in 2.4 blocking the entrance, but now you can go in. And then uh, the moment you get in here or you go further inside, you will trigger some some dialogue and then you will be forced outside because it'll it'll talk about like the pressure being too high here. So this is basically the uh, heat protection suit uh, part two. Right. You get teleported out. You can't come in here just yet. And then you got to do the, the part two quest which is the the same people you go back to talk to the same people for the heat protection suit and then you gotta farm mats and stuff Let's do this on patch day right and then what's new in here nothing nothing really new in here uh there's a few new mobs like this this guy this guy drops a research mat for titan stuff but i don't think we're getting it on global so i don't know the purpose for this guy and then uh there is a world boss in here it's a spider right this this is uh part of the story i'm pretty sure and then uh it's inside this area and then the only entrance is to the side right there's these pink holes that you go in through you go into the pink hole okay there's quite a few entrances but then there's webs and then you get stuck on them blah 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 Very annoying to get in here. And we're through. And then this is how you get to the world boss. And then this world boss will drop a bandana and both Scylla and Habra matrices and also purple mats. Alright, so dump all your keys into this. No reason to save any of your keys. Don't be like me, I'm just lazy. Okay, 3.0 uses different keys. No reason to save anymore. Just send. So for those of you that don't want to go through the webs, there is this, this hole right here. Only this one works. Right? It's blocked off. You're not able to get in here normally. But if you have land, you can generate an umbrella and use the land skill to go through this. So this is, this is land hole, land exclusive hole. This is this is the way to get in. You have to you have to be very close to the to the wall, spawn umbrella on the other side, and just teleport in. Exploration wise, this 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 place is very small. There's like barely anything out here. There's a total of what 10, 10 supply chests and forty three exploration points and a world boss. So two point five update exploration wise is very small. As you can probably finish this whole. This whole place in like 30 minutes. Oh yeah, also these guys. These are new mobs. But these are featured on research apparently already. But like there's only, I think, two of these guys. There's like two spawns total. And these will be part of your uh, Vera bounties. I'm not sure if we get Vera bounties with extra research mats and stuff. But like if you do do Vera bounties, these guys will be added. Right, these like Loch Ness monster looking things. These guys. These are another bounty target. That's it to this area. All right, world level system. So when 2.5 drops, everyone is going to be at world level 1. You access the world level system, the whole UI when you open the map and click this thing on the right. I already, I'm already at level 100. Because I, I need to be up here. At least 95 to open 3.0. To open 3.0 world boss chest. But let's let's start from the beginning. All right, you'll be at level 10. And you unlock. like So all the world boss chests will be gated behind world levels now. So at, at the beginning, all you can open is robot chests. 
And then you can get Rudolph chests, whatever chests. You always unlock a world boss chest pretty much every every upgrade. And then you get some additional rewards at the bottom for every upgrade. And then at higher levels, you get additional perks like additional gear drops from password chests. So basically, if you open up a password chest now, there's a chance for you to get gold gear, right? Once you get this world level system and you're back at level 10, you won't be able to see gold gear or even purple gear from your purple from your uh, password chest anymore unless you upgrade your world level. So make sure t if you are choosing to stay at 10 cuz all the mobs will you can one shot basically everything if you choose at choose to be at level 10 even world bosses just don't open password chests cuz they they take away all your drops from password chests for, for any of the chests, right? Even the boss chest until you go back up to whatever your, your world level is supposed to be. So like right here, I have a, at level 95, there's a 900% increase to get cosmetic shards from the world bosses. This system is here for, for new players to like actually survive in the open world. And then if you want to abuse the system and stay at level 10, you can, but just, just don't open chests. You can't open chests, world boss chests anyways, but like just, just save your keys. Your keys aren't going anywhere. So your keys, first of all, this whole system is a win. It's not like they're taking off, taking away features from you, right? It's it's your choice. But like if you choose to stay at a low level, then your keys aren't going anywhere. Eventually you can go to level 100 and then just waste all your keys there. For world bosses too, like you can just hoard your keys until, until you're ready. So this is great if you didn't finish appointed research if you haven't finished appointed research stay at world level 10 and just finish this first like it's it's so easy to farm research mats the only thing you're losing is the drops from the chests and it, it like world level only affects password chests nothing else changes so the drop rate for mats the 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 XP you get, the whatever the fuck, anything else don't matter. It still stays the same. So it's a great system. And then you can, uh, this is for 3.0 on CN. I think for global, you will also be able to go back maybe in 2.5. But this caused Dark Crystals to drop your world level system back down. So I like, never do this. Only, only level up your world level when you're ready. So raids are getting changed in 2.5. The entire system is getting changed. Now, every week... When you click into the tab, you get a randomly selected raid boss out of the existing ones. And then now you don't have normal mode, you only have heroic and challenge mode. Right? Heroic mode is already easy as hell. Right? So that's why we get a new challenge mode. Challenge mode, basically, if you look at the differences, right? If you look at the differences in rewards, what, what more do you get? You get plus one purple XP mat. You get a uh, plus five blue XP mat. And then you get a uh, plus five green XP mat for clearing challenge mode. This is just the flex cause, because of the title. This is a weekly title, right? This is a weekly title that you get to tell people that you are able to clear challenge mode. And some incentive for people to try hard because there's like some extra xp that you can use on your new exoskeleton whatever and not like you're gonna get relevant exoskeletons reactors or whatever it's negligible reward so you don't have to do this okay for the free to play tryhards it's a good challenge don't complain that you can't clear this you're not losing out on anything this is there for this is this is end game content for the for the whales to uh to flex on Okay. People are still gonna do post about this being too hard. It's not even hard though. So the mechanics here, uh, all iframes are removed. All iframes are, are gone. So nothing has iframes anymore. So everyone turns to Tion, which is good. And then uh, if you're not Benediction, your heals are decreased by 80%. So all your self heals are, are gone too, pretty much. All right, executed. It's still doable as a whale. So this is what you get. Right? Everything is, you get basically everything you should have gotten for doing all the raids, but they're just all condensed into one now. So it, it's some time savings, right? And then you get to, you get to do different raids every week. This is the easiest raid. And it has, what, what is this? 9 billion HP. And then uh, just, just a comparison to, to show you guys the same raid, but heroic, how much HP. And then we can probably figure out how they're going to scale global. Right, heroic. Yes, do all your raids. This whole system is gonna reset. Yeah. 
Then heroic is like 200, 200 million, 195 x 45 HP. Sounds about right. All right, so global. Uh, we'll see. We'll we'll see how much global gets. All right, join op changes. So join ops, pretty much similar to raids. Also got the same random overhaul. So every time when you go into join ops, the whole server will select one join op for everybody. And this is the page. We have end game for today on CN. And then uh, the same difficulty stuff, but now you all all go up to difficulty eight. So there won't be any like join op eight and uh join op one two three four for the other ones or whatever all 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 the join ops are the same now and then what you farm which join op you do doesn't matter because uh you now have this feature right here you can select what you want from the join op so you no longer can select matrices but like standard matrices don't matter anymore it's all about gear when you're farming join op right all right so above difficulty six, you are able to select your preferences for gear. You can choose to select a specific element or you can choose to select a specific piece. It can't be both. So you either go for whatever element you need or, or you just go for the, I mean, gloves and boots if you if you have shit crit pieces. Oh, and then this, right? The, 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 the join op substat or whatever this bonus effect. And this will also be random every, every day. Right. Today we have extra flame damage, 35%. This could be extra cosmetic boss shards. This could be extra world boss matrices shards. And if it's when you do get world boss matrices shards, you want to farm that shit because every chest you open on CN gives you one one shard to the world boss matrices. Right? Every day you are guaranteed two shards. Right? You clear it once, you get two shards. But then if you get that special effect where you get the Habola or Scylla world boss matrices shards, that means every chest you open in here is, is an additional shard. So like it's a five on the first run and then three additional runs. So you want to save vitality potions. That is it. And then matchmaking is basically matchmaking UI, right? It, this thing pops out. It forces you to select at least two roles if you're going solo. If you're in a party, you can only select one. Uh, make sure you select the right role and then start matchmaking. This is more relevant for raids. So th these shards, you need a hundred. You need a hundred to get a selector for the world boss matrices. A hundred is 50 days, but if you get additional world boss matrices shards perk, which happens like once a week, I believe, it'll, it'll speed, it'll speed up your progress significantly. Oh yes, right. Join ops are also dynamic now based on your team. So like it'll look at your whole team's CS or gear score and then the the amount of HP everything has is dynamic now. So if you come in with a bunch of free to play casual new players, everything is going to be super weak. But like if you run this with like four whales, it's going to be it's going to be decently hard. These tryhards. Right, this is like, I didn't even start my combo, it's already dead. Let's see. No, it, it's in general, join ops got easier. And then yeah, make sure that the other important thing that you gotta do, after you're done with join ops, make sure to come back in here. You don't automatically get the shards for free immediately. You gotta come back in here and claim, this is very important. Make sure you come back and claim, otherwise you don't get your plus two shards. I think I missed a few with, by not coming back to claim. So like this is part of the 2.5 daily routine. You just got to do join ops at least once. Clear it. Even if you don't open chests, it still counts as a clear. But yeah, for those tryharding the world boss matrices, this is another thing. For those of you tryharding world boss matrices, you might want to uh, figure out when your server will get the world boss matrices shards. It probably won't be on day one, but you want to save your vitality to 360, right? You don't want to cap. But you want to like try to be at 360 vitality when the server resets so you can do like what four runs which is uh three shards each 12 plus two which is you get 14 shards immediately when you reset to the next day and then you have the whole day's worth of vitality again so you can run like another five chests maybe so you you want to you want to maintain your you want to like figure out the pattern on which day you're gonna get the world boss matrices and make sure you like try to keep your vitality at around 360 when the server resets to fully try hard the more shards.
Titan Gear. I have a Titan Gear video. But Titan Gear is basically where we're getting gloves and reactor, right? The, the short version of Titan Gear video is just fucking click. Just, just, just click. Just click both of them. Just get, just, just, just send. It doesn't fucking matter. It's free stats. Just get it.